I want to start off by saying I love Anki. I think it is a fantastic tool. I think every medical student should use it, but it has some drawbacks. Number one is that it's not really good at big pictures, specifically with biochemistry. When you have a lot of different pathways, you have enzymes at each step, you have different substrates. It's easy to start confusing information when you break those pathways up into little pieces. I think it's a lot more effective to whiteboard that information out <laughs> so that you can see everything in one shot. When I tried to use Anki for biochem, I found that I was mixing a lot of the enzymes up. And that's not a good situation because then you're wasting time. Number two is using Anki for anything with the muscular skeletal system. I think using it for anatomy pictures where you're seeing a muscle or you're seeing a nerve or you're seeing a blood vessel and you just have to identify it. That's fantastic. That does work with Anki. But what it doesn't work well with is when you're trying to memorize groups of muscles because sometimes there's a similarity in function or innervation. I felt like it was better to write all those out on the whiteboard so that you could see the whole picture. And finally, number three is that it's not very good for anything that has to do with math. You're going to get a lot of math. You're going to get a lot of basic math. I think it's a lot better to do practice questions. The problem with math, and I did this, is that when you try to make equations for yourself and put them into Anki, you start getting good at just memorizing the answer rather than how to get to that answer. I found doing the math for say pharmacology, a lot more effective is actually just practicing pharmacology questions. So those are the three drawbacks of Anki. I still think it's a fantastic tool. You need to use it. So go out there, use it, go get an A, go kick some butt. <laughs>